Hey, how's it going? How are you doing? Mr. Deadman here, uh, Rant and Chill. Going to be just chilling. A chill stream on a Saturday night. Uh, it's not very chill in this elaborate studio, in this <laughs> garage. That's the real reason why I wear this head, man. I'm like sweating like a lot in here. Need to upgrade this piece of crap plastic fan. Get something heavy duty. Something that you can really hear in the background. All right, gonna be playing some Bloodstain. I like this game a lot. I, I like it so much. I mean, I used to sink a lot of hours just playing Castlevania um, Symphony, uh, Sym Symphony of the Night over and over again, and Bloodstain Ritual of the Night is essentially the same game. It's it is like in spirit, in ways it's in ways it offers more. It's I don't know. How, I I've just been playing like this this randomizer mode. I, I like it. Like I say. Uh, we talk about Gotcha Rick Spin, Love Bites, OnlyFans, and this 300-pound, uh, 400-pound piglet named the Gunt. Uh, ain't no piglet. Well, he's a hog. He's a good old size hog, and that's what he is. Piglets are small. Ethan Ralph. Why? He's a good old plump Texas hog. Well, <laughs> except he's not Texan, is he? He's from like Virginia, some shit, right? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's start with what's good. Let's start with Gotcha Rick Spin. Yeah, I'm really digging that band. I did do a reaction of Unlucky uh, Morpheus. Uh, I'm curious about that band. I, I've got some recommendations. Gonna check them out. I like what I saw. I, I I like the goth imagery and I like the the goth like sound to it. I mean that in in that band, you know, they have a, a violinist. What is his name? Um, Jill, I believe. I'm not sure. I read you. I, I do read the comments when you guys. Present those, uh, leave those very informative comments. I do read them. I read them, try to let the information sink in. It's like, okay. Yes. <laughs> now, as far as Gotcha Rick Spin goes, uh, let's see. Let's have some fun here. What does the. Let me ask you guys a couple questions. What are the top five best? Got your songs. You have an idea? Top five Got your Rick Spin songs. Only five. For me, I haven't really listened to enough to really know for sure, but I'm pretty certain that Locked On is going to be on that list. <laughs> Probably number two, or at number one. Locked On is really good. Broken Lover. That's a good song, too. By the way, let me know if the stream is blurry and stuff. I'm like, I'm watching on the monitor, and I'm like, is something wrong with the stream? Let me, let me take a look here. Let me see what it looks like on y'all's end. Mm hmm. Oh, and the drummer for Gotcha Rick Spin, uh, what's her name? Hana? That's that's it, right? Hana? Uh, Soma Hana, is that right? I'm going based on memory. Um, which I, I have the memory of Biden. I, I really do sometimes. It's like I have, I have to have it written in front of me to, to, to remember. Um, okay. <laughs> but she's, she's a really talented, uh, really talented drummer. She can sing and drum at the same time. And she plays, wait, she's also, uh, she's also the, the, the forming member of Dollbox. And in Dollbox, is she playing 
drums or is she playing guitar? Rula la 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 is your favorite? I'll check that out. Hold on. See, now I'm curious if I got the name right. I don't think I did. Uh, do, do. All right. Gotcha, Rick Spins, Summer. Sano, Sano Hana. Sano. Okay. All right. Sano Hana. All right. And guitarist, drummer. I could have sworn. My memory may, may not be right because I have seen a doll box song before. Uh, I've seen, I saw uh, "Take My Chance." I thought that was pretty good. I haven't, I haven't done a reaction to it on this channel, but I could have sworn she was playing guitar in that song, right? Or is that just what I want to remember? Oh, she plays the drums. <laughs> okay, well then, you know, don't, don't really go by my memory <laughs> at all. <laughs> uh. But she can play guitar though. At the same time, I mean, I don't know, I don't know if she could play guitar at the same time while she's drumming. But she, she's a guitarist, she's a vocalist, and a drummer. She, she plays guitar at times for uh, Gotcha Rick Spin, right? That's what I heard in the comments. Sometimes she'll go down and play guitar. I mean, there was one song I was reacting to. I, don't remember the name of the song right now where they had two drummers. Two drummers at the same time. Can you imagine that? Some bands already have a hard time with one drummer keeping keeping the beat right, <laughs> you know? What two I was I was impressed with that. I was like, oh man. Especially when I've I've every time I see a drum set, I have to play on it. But then people tell me to stop because I'm horrible. I'm horrible. My thing is like I cannot I cannot um like with the right hand and the left hand, I cannot get them to do separate beats at two different times. No, no. Okay, I, I got my little screen monitor here just a little bit to see how it looks. Yeah, look, it looks a lot better than on what you see, or than what I see here on the YouTube monitor thing, whatever. Anyway. Yeah, so, but if I were going to say top Five favorite for what I know so far of Gotcha Rick Spin. I would have to say, okay, let's see. Based on what I know so far, right? Let's see here. Let me take a look at the track list real fast. As a reminder, some of the names. Don't worry. The music comes to me. Gold Dash is good. Oh, you know what? Actually, on my top five, I would include Mindset, that new one. That was great. Hmm. Okay. All right, so a top five, I would go, let's see, from what I know so far. Juicy Beats, Broken Lover, Tamashi, Mindset, Locked On. There you go. Boom. <laughs> but but the thing is, with Gatrick Spin, I'm sure that list is going to change. It's going to change at times. Hey, thanks for subbing. You get that nice little, eh, get that nice view. I might be a married man, but I'm still a man, damn it. I'm still a man. So how you guys doing? How's your Saturday treating you? Hmm?
Could be watching America's Funniest uh, Skit Show, Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Man, the last one, last the last SNL I think I've ever watched was uh, the one with Elon Musk. Out of out of curiosity, all right. Now, let's see what else can we say about Patrick Spin. Like I said, that the new music uh, video that they have, Mindset, that's some good stuff. I thought it sounded pretty different. I'm not used to uh, more like, uh, like I'm not really too familiar of Gotcha Rick's been like changing like like their, their styles, so to speak. You know, like it had a more of a funk. Sound to it. It was very delightful. Very delightful. Normally, I expect uh, more like an electronic sound. Go. You know, they do have a couple of slow, uh, got a slow songs. I don't know them by name. Not yet. Thank you, 13, thir 13 Originals. I attempted to watch it last week, but it was... Oh, you know what? If I'm going to have a chat up, I should at least see what the chat says. Oh, you tried to watch SNL? It was odd and unfunny? Yeah. I like that. Gotrick Spin doesn't have a style. They have about 20. Yeah, you kind of right about that. You, you are right about that. Uh, you kind of... And I like that. You never really know what you're going to get. But you know it's going to be good. What was the song I had other one I was listening to? I was just on their um, YouTube channel going through some songs. I think it's called uh, Sikia Liar. The, the Sikia Liar. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Um, that was part of the live stream where the, the stream got, got blocked like worldwide, whatever, because of copyright, that music video, you can't play apparently, but the other ones I was able to, that song is cool. That song is really cool. You know what I'll say is you're right. They have a lot of different styles, but one thing they do consistently is show a lot of love and respect for the bass. See, I killed this guy. And there's a part of the castle that I can't get to. Because something's not right. But whatever. I wonder if there's something up there. I wonder if I can get that. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. Ah, that's going to be so annoying. This is like a mode that randomizes everything in the castle, whatever. So it changes how you navigate stuff. <laughs> All right, play around with this. Yeah, so let's see. So top five. I mean, what what, what would y'all's top five list be? We got your Rick Spin. Like Locked On, I know Locked On is like, isn't Locked On like their first song, their, their first single, right? I mean, that's what I read in New Way, that's what I've been told. Their, their debut single, Locked On. That's the one with ARMY, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, and she 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 died. I'm that's sad. Unfortunate. It happens, man. It shouldn't happen. I mean, it's going to. But she was it was so early. I know she left the band due to like health issues. Man. Black, Black Survival is number one for you. All right. Cool, cool. I'll have to check it out. I pretty much have a growing list. Some of stuff I need to check out. Of songs. Let's see. Uh, yeah, people have been mentioning names. For uh, unlucky, unlucky uh, Morpheus, and I didn't realize that the uh, I guess the Growler guy, the the I don't know if you want to call him a Growler. Apparently, he's the guitarist in the what's that other band? Man, I did a reaction on their of them as well. Something Fairy Factory. I know that's the translation of it, Fairy Factory. But that's not the that's not the Japanese ti title. Man, sounds like cancer to me since she was trying to perform. Yeah, man, that that's that's a real. Th But good on her for trying to, to perform until until she couldn't, you know? But I'm not done yet. I want to sing. I'm not done yet. Yeah, Sharin. Sharin. Was a guitarist for Yoshi Taikokoku. <laughs> I know I did not pronounce that right. Taikoku. I will just assume I did and move on. <laughs> That's right. He backed Baby Metal for a few shows. That's right. I remember hearing that. It's a small world, isn't it? The, the world of J-Metal. I mean, it kind of makes sense. In the size of Japan and everything. I mean, I mean, you're really going to run into the same people, I suppose. I don't, I don't know. Not a lot of territory in between the, the between the territories. <laughs> Not a lot of territory between the cities, you know. Not like you, you can't have like an East Coast West Coast thing like you do like in the U.S. Or could or, or do you like I don't I don't know. Hmm. I mean, with that said, the metal scene in um. Like the mainstream metal scene in the U.S., just about like they kind of run this similar circles, but then again, not not necessarily because they they have their own areas and pretty far apart. Oh, wait, wrong wrong thing. Oh, uh, I like this one a lot. And he's dead. Didn't take long at all. Okay. So, I don't know if you ever played this game. By now, normally, you would have, like, double jump and other things to help navigate the castle. But on this randomized mode, I don't have any of that. The only thing I have is something called d Dimension Shift, and it's kind of a pain. Kind of annoying. So yeah. Let's see. I so from from Kami Band plays guitar for uh, Fuki when she is on her solo project. 
Oh, okay. They play they play uh Gotcharic spin once a year. Hmm. Now, is this like written in their contract that they'll that they'll do this? Or they do it because They do it because they want to That seems pretty committed to 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 do that. But I mean, they're probably friends, right? I'm, I'm, I don't know. Like, at least working relationship wise, I'm. Okay, now I got your Rick spin. Let's see, what is what is the heaviest got your Rick spin song? I mean, I know they're not really they're not heavy metal, but is there? What you would say is the heaviest? Some of their songs, they they do have a pretty good sounding heavy guitar. Think um, the, the the one the one I was watching during the last live stream that got that got blocked. I think it was called Sakaya the Liar. That one, I would show it to you, but it would just block this stream. I know. Can't show that one. Okay. Let's see. Repo Bob says, okay, I thought long and large. All right, long and large. Top five songs for Gotcha Rick Spin, Black Survival, Winner, Lock On, Gold Dash, a music battler. I like your taste. I like your taste, man. Uh, Jorge Fr Franco said, just checked out your Love Bites Edge of the World reaction, left you a few suggestions. Thank you. I'll take a look at them. If you're not hyperlinks, I'm just going to search, and what I find is what I find. And if it's not the one I was supposed to find, then I guess, you know. Edge of the World is a really good song. <laughs> that, man. Love Bites. Asami is a professional singer. Professional soul R&B singer. Talented. And she demonstrates that in just about every single song in Love Bites. But what the Edge of the World song? <sighs> yeah. She she really demonstrated that. She showed it off. She was like, look what I can do. Okay? You came here to see a metal band. You thought you're seeing power metal. Let me show you let, let, let me let me show you something you have not seen before. Sing to you, uh, uh, I guess, give you a sound you haven't heard before. Wow, that's nice. Very powerful. I mean, I say it quite a lot in the, in the, in the reaction videos. I think that they have a look of like, <laughs> like angels on stage. I don't know. I'm, that's not me simping or anything. That's me just like, dude, they have like the, the pristine white look goes so well with their sound and I don't know if they planned it it, se it seems like they did in a way they, they knew the look would have a contrast and set them apart but man it not only does it set them apart but it it, uh, it gives them a presence on stage I mean other bands even other J metal bands I mean when they were all black it's like they kind of blend in to the background. You gotta wear some that you stand out. Like the unlucky Morpheus video I watched, uh the growler, he he wore a white coat. So he stood out. Oh, and that chick. Man, she had a nice dress, the red and black dress. Ooh, man, that was nice looking. Hmm. That's right, and she writes her lyrics. Yeah. Mm. 
That is very cool. Very cool indeed. Hmm. I'm not sure if I could go any further in this. They're also very petite. White helps to see them. <laughs> well, they they are. They are. Oh. And you know what? Let's talk about love bites. Every every member of the band kind of has like their own personality. And you can really see it on stage. Midori. And oh my lord. Why are the names escape me now? Okay. Probably not gonna like the way I do this, but it is what it is. Midori and the bases, they seem like like really f like like. Oh, okay. Let's go with Midori. Midori, she's always smiling. She's always smiling when she's playing. You know, she looks like she's having a good time. She, she's having a fun time. It's good. Um, the bass looks like she's having a good time, but she also looks a little serious too. Like the kind of combination. It's kind of a, like a mix. Like kind of. In be like, she's focused, I should say. She's focused. Miyako. Now she, she just has this professional look about her. Like she is, she's at work. She loves her work. You can see that she, she loves it, but she's she's crafting, you know. She's she's busy at work, crafting uh, music for us to to enjoy. Someone left a comment, and I think my my last Love Bites reaction video that there's a song. I think the guy was messing with me, where Miyako plays piano and the guitar at the same time. Like at the same time, like one hand on the piano, one hand on the guitar. That that's that, that's a troll, right? There, there's no way she does that. There's no absolute way she could do that. I say that knowing that I'm wrong. <laughs> oh God. Let's see. I'm trying to navigate this area. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. Honestly, I might just start another playthrough. Burden of time. Yes. Okay, that's that's the song I was recommending. Burden Dimension of time. Shift. Okay. So yeah, that's definitely going to be on my next. Uh, that's going to be my Dimension one of my next shift. reactions. Is I got to see that. You know, I walk right into this wall. Clearly, that's a wall there. Dimension shift. Oh, man. Oh, man, I can't get across. Are you serious? Oh, wait, wait, there we go. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. Maybe I could buy something. <clears throat> yeah, so I'll check out Burden of Time. Because I've got to check this out. So I'm really curious what's going to happen with Love Bites this year. Um, as lockdowns... Why am I trying to kill this person? As long as, if, 
assuming that things are on track, right? As long you know, with lockdowns lifting, I don't know if they're lifting in Japan or not. I'm, just, you know, what happens? I suppose. I mean, they're supposed to be. The Olympics is still on board, right? I I don't know. I don't know anything about that. But. I'm curious what they're going to do. Like, are, are they going to... They have shows. I'm assuming they would have shows planned for, for this... For late this year. Next year. Oh, what would you like to buy? Yeah, it's not here. I don't Yeah, I don't know if I can get any further in this castle. I think I've I've killed just about every boss I could get to. I need you know what? Uh, it's not the whole song, though. Even for Miyako, it would be impressive. Yeah, it would be. You know, from what I've seen, though, I mean, she definitely has the skill to pull it off. I, I gotta see this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch a, v a video right now. I don't know. I'm not gonna put it on the screen because I don't know if it's gonna get this live stream banned. Okay, I'm going to uh, play. I'm gonna go go look at. Burden of, burden of time. I want to see it live. Burden of time. Burden of time. Studio live. Okay. You'll be able to hear it. Oh, okay. I see. I see the setup. Okay, she's, she's playing guitar and the keyboard's right in front of her. Oh, oh, I like how the bass is wearing a Ride the Lightning t-shirt, too. Yeah. I mean... Shit. I just, you know, Metallica gets brought up quite often. I guess do it again. And you guys Metallica fans? If so, like, what kind? What kind of fan? Like, old school Metallica? When I think... When I say Metallica, you think... What? Some people say sell out. Oh yeah, they sell out shows, all right. <laughs> uh, you think uh, Master Puppets, Ride Lightning, Kill 'Em All, and Justice for All? I want to see her play the piano. And that drummer is. I want to be a gentleman. All these ladies are very beautiful ladies. That's all I'm going to say. Miyako loves Metallica. Yeah. I mean, you might not like the uh, how Metallica functions as a business, but they have put out some good songs, though. Now, of course, some of their famous songs, turns out there might have been some, like, um, might be some thievery, might be just inspiration. Mm hmm. All right. Is it, like, towards the middle of the song? Let's see. So I don't see her. I'm just kind of skipping ahead. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, okay, she's playing the piano right now. And I hear this part. Oh, what? She's doing both. She's she's playing she's she is playing the guitar and the piano at the same time. What? 
she's she's uh fingering the fret. All right. That sounds dirty the way I said that, but you know. That is that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I was not expecting that. Uh Rebo Bob says I lost respect when they when I learned to use a musician tech to switch pedals. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I lost respect. Respect for Metallica is something I don't have a whole lot of. Um, I mean, they were still very influential, you know. Because of them, a lot of other people were like, you know, we can do this too. But then again, around their, around the time they were playing, there were other bands that were doing what they were doing, and they were kind of lost Testament. Anyone know anyone know of Testament? Not a bad band. But then again, I only know a few of their songs. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, see, there has to be something in this castle. Let me navigate part of it, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to check out something fast. Voivod. Oh, okay. I brought up a band, you bring up a band, Voivod. You're right. I don't know a Voivod. I don't know a Voivod. 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 Hmm. Testament are awesome. That's right, that's right. Oh, which by the way, Metallica's uh, Enter Sandman. Was that an, an original creation? Or was that stolen? Hmm? By uh from another band called I believe I believe they're called uh Excel, is that right? They had a song before Inner Sandman came along that sounded a, a lot like Inner Sandman. In fact, it sounds exactly like it. Well, yeah, it sounds, it sounds spot on. Like, if you were here, it'd be like, okay, <laughs> come on, Metallica, what were you doing here? There was a lot, there, there were going to be, Dimension there was going to be a lawsuit, Dimension but, shift. you know, Dimension shift. Dimension shift. that just didn't Dimension happen. Shift. Dimension shift. <sighs> it's a like, bro, see, there should be a portal right here. Oh, man, what the hell? Oh, there we go. Now, now I guess we get the portal. Okay, so now there's more I could do. The den of behemoths. This is like giant land. Everything's massive. You see, uh, Rob Bob says, even Metallica says they were number one, the biggest influencers, and they're French Canadian with a thick accent like mine. Right? Right? When you do a Frozen Serenade uh, from uh, Love Bites, use the fan made video by Dennis Kent. It has cool extra clips at the end. Okay, I'll do that. Keep that in mind. So I asked about your top five favorite uh, Gatrick, Gatrick spin songs. What about Love? What about Love Bites? We do top five favorite. I, th I think I did ask what was the heaviest Gatrick spin, uh, Gatrick spin song, but.
But that's probably the wrong way to talk about it. I mean, as far as heaviest go... So, we could just ignore that question. But the uh, the top five love bites, what would it be? Would uh, the Edge of Tomorrow be on there? What about the Crusades? Only video of Golden Destination when Des Destiny's line are still accessible. Oh, Love Bites have put a country restriction on 10 to 12 audio clips from Electro Pentagram. Okay. I noticed that because... My reaction to the Golden Destinations live performance was actually not my first rodeo with that song. I actually did a reaction to the music video where it had like the, the fan stuff. Like, not, it had their, like, their, their touring days kind of documented and I liked that video I liked it a lot I mean it had some I thought pretty cool commentary for it showed some respect for the ladies and what what they do uh, you got to see a side of them that was was raw and it was kind of cool you get to see them on the road and w what they were doing a little bit uh, but that video was blocked worldwide because uh, their choice and, and that's that's my thing with doing reaction videos it's like well I'm kind of like I'm at, I'm at the mercy of who who creates, you know, who owns the rights, which makes sense. So I'm at, I'm at Love Bites of Mercy. Hmm. That might, that might uh, trigger some interesting dreams, but I will not. I'm a gentleman. I will not talk about that. See, that's the thing, too. These ladies are so... They, they present themselves in such a professional way. In such a professional way that they... I, I don't... I don't want to talk about their looks, you know? Not in a way that's like... Sexualized or... Greasy or anything like that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Sophisticated women deserve better than that. All right, now I'm good. <laughs> yeah, this part of the castle is like giant land. If you're playing Super Mario Brothers 3, you know what I'm talking about. I had a skimpy outfit mod I was using for this game, but it, it kind of almost got me in trouble. Ow. Let's see. Top five Love Bites songs for me. Rising. Liar. No Time to Hesitate. Break the Wall. Empty Daydream. Good picks. Jorge Franco says, uh, favorite songs, Break the Wall, Set the World on Fire, that's good. Edge of the World, A Frozen Trinity, and um, Empty Daydream, and uh, Final Destination. Okay. Final Destination. Oh, Dystopian uh, Symphony is really good. I really like that one. Oh, good question. Repo Bob, do we count Rising Acoustic with Asami and Miyako as Love Bites? Well, it's it's like Love Bites. Uh, hmm. I, you know, not. I guess not. I guess not because it's not really the whole band, is it? It's not the whole band. It's just something extra. Can't go anywhere. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! Yeah! 
Top five love bites, love bites, love bites. I know. It's really hard to pick sometimes because they're really good songs. And like one of my one of my picks would have been uh would be Mastermind 01. And that's as far as all their songs go, that's not the most technical, you know. That's just that's just thrash. That's just straight up speed metal. But I just I like I kind of like the this the minimalist of it. Like it doesn't sound like power metal. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. I think there's a boss fight coming up. Okay. Yeah, so pretty much any Love Bite song, I think is a pretty good pick, honestly. I hope to see them live. Now that I know about them, I want things to clear up. Hopefully, you know, we'll get some shows in the States. That'd be nice. That'd be really nice. See, yeah, Mastermind 01 is good. Yeah. Caught between two, two cannons. Okay. Okay, and what about this one? What about what is which is which Love Bites album? If you're familiar with their albums, which one is is your favorite? Yeah, which Love Bite album is your favorite, and, and why? Okay, and also, not to make this uh, a gutter brain stream or anything, hey, let's be nice, sophisticated women. But, um, which one would you say you, uh, kind of kind of crush on a little bit? Kind of like. Can you keep up? Can I keep up? I can't keep up. I'm slow. I can't. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. Yeah, I'm keeping up. Yeah, this is crap. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. <laughs> yeah. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. I wish I had like double jumper other things. This is hard. <laughs> and all this for nothing? Wait, wait. Because I didn't make it. Dimension shift. So I'm going to be Dimension penalized, shift. probably. And you win nothing. Ah. Can't choose. They're all good albums. Yeah. It'd be difficult. Because honestly, I can't think of a of a bad song on their on their list. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. Kind of reminds me of like when I used to listen to a lot of uh, Iron Maiden. 
But Dimension then again, Shift. with Iron Maiden, I could I could think of an album I didn't really care too much for, and that's uh, when the singers get swapped. You know, <laughs> it's like uh, it just sounds different. But Dimension Shift. Mm. Okay. So I also wanted to talk about uh, OnlyFans here. I mean, what am I saying? I want to talk about it. Like, because I was I was checking out some stuff. I looked like uh, oh, there's an article or something talking about how you know all these girls been rushing over to OnlyFans because OnlyFans oh it seems very lucrative. You can make like a hundred bucks a day, or maybe a hundred bucks a month. That doesn't sound very lucrative. But 100 bucks a day? That isn't bad. I mean, okay. You can probably you, there's some that make thousands a day. There's some some that make more than I make in a year and in, in a month. <laughs> it's crazy. But that's not that's not every girl. That's not every woman. But during the pandemic, during the lockdowns, there's a lot of girls, a lot of women, or teachers, the mom next door, someone you probably know, your neighbor's wife. They're all going on OnlyFans. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. Trying to chase that money. But then they find out that the money is really... It's, it's not as easy as it seems. So I was like, okay. So I guess I guess they, they found out that you have to you have to work a little bit for it. <laughs> I mean, I imagine you would. Imagine you, I imagine you might have to put a little work in there. When you're when you are putting your nudes out there on the internet and you have to compete with um Free porn. I'm sure you got to do some work to get the word out. <laughs> I, I, I honestly, I don't get how um, OnlyFans is, is like profitable like that. I mean, you you could just go to Pornhub or whatever. Am I am I wrong there? This, does, does Pornhub not exist? I know it exists because I was on there. <laughs> TMI. But you know, it's crazy. You can play big money on Twitch if you play it right. Oh, you can. Do the hot tub streams. <laughs> I... I couldn't make good money on Twitch if I play it right. I, well, I don't know what Dimension play it right for me Dimension would mean. Um, I, I would have to be careful what I talk about, I suppose. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. <sighs> But so yeah, you have these girls like going to OnlyFans, thinking they're gonna make a lot, a lot of money, think, thinking they're gonna be able to live off it. But the, turns out they can't. Turns out they can't live off it. Okay. Dimension <laughs> shift. Dimension shift. And when I read an article, it's like that. It's like okay, well, and when they it, it, they complained further, they're like, well, it's really hard for us to make money on on OnlyFans, and. In order to make money, we have to do things we don't we would normally not do. And it's like, well, I mean, no one's forcing you to do it. Like, like if you, if you're on OnlyFans and you're putting your nudes out there and your, your sex videos and you're doing things you don't really want to do, but you're doing it for money, um, like you are the one who's doing that. Like, like you you are putting yourself out there. You know, these same same girls, some of them will blame, like, they'll blame the system or they'll blame, like, I guess, the envi environmental conditions that led them 
to that path. And they'll be like, you know, it's not it's not me, it's it's society or it's it's my situation. I need the money. So, okay, I get that. Sometimes we do things out of desperation. Um but at the same time, it's like, well, I mean, is there something else you could have done, too? I mean, if, if you didn't want to do it, like, if you had problems with it morally, then why are you doing it? Oh, because of money? Well, you're not going to be happy about that. You're going to hate yourself about that. Because, it, you know, the way I look at it, it sounds like some of these women who, who are making that, that complaint are already coming from a position of... They have some moral hung, uh, hang up about the whole OnlyFans thing that they find it greasy and dirty. And they, they don't really want to do some of these things, but yet they're doing it. They're chasing the money, but it, to find out that the money doesn't or is not going to make them happy, or maybe that the money is not not as much as they thought. <sighs> I mean, it's. <sighs> When you make your own bed, <laughs> when you when you when you are part of the reason why your bed is made the way that it is, and you want to complain about it, it's it's kind of I don't know. I've, I I'm just like, well, you know, if it's not making you happy, then why are you doing it? Dimension shift. I need money. Okay. Then, if you need Dimension money, shift. then Dimension shift. Dimension could shift. you find money in other ways? Or, maybe you can examine some more about why it is you have these moral hang-ups about the whole OnlyFans thing. It's one or the other. Otherwise, it's just going to be like... <laughs> I don't know, it's going to be depression and <laughs> self-loathing. Let's see. Uh, you can make big money. Uh, you're playing for interaction on OnlyFans, not the point. Oh, interaction. I rented this, uh, not rented, but I got this. Uh, the one and only porn DVD I ever got. Had interactive features. It was pretty cool. You press a button on the remote and come on command. Stuff like that. Some goofy stuff. Yeah, and you can change the angles or whatever. <laughs> so, but no, you mean like better interaction? Like, like you, you see the person right there. You can chat with them. You can get them to do what. To tailor your interest, which is interesting. I could see the appeal to that. You could go to Pornhub, or you can go to OnlyFans, kind of connect with the uh, content creator and get your own content for you. And you can kind of get that sort of like, oh, you know what? Think about it now. You sort of get that, um, you know, when you're talking with a chick and you. I've been dating for a little while and you're trying to see maybe you can get you know a couple of of uh, not safe for work selfies or shots or whatever and when you do get them uh, well the the process of trying to get them is, is is great it's thrilling it's like oh my god this is gonna happen each and every time I remember those days you know married and it's like pfft, it, they, the experience might seem like far from you know, far gone. But I remember those days. So it's kind of like that. Except, uh, I don't know if I can get out of here. Come on. This is so annoying. I want to get like double jump or something. <laughs> as soon as possible. Oh, and some of the OnlyFans chicks are complaining... Because um, they they blame OnlyFans. They think OnlyFans is the reason. They blame OnlyFans for this. Okay, that, that's my, my problem with it. They think that um, they'll say that OnlyFans is grooming them. 
that the process of being on OnlyFans and posting stuff for, I guess, for the fans to like, is grooming them to do more hardcore stuff that they would normally not do. Kind of was talking about before. So they have a, they they don't want to do it, but they do it anyway, chasing the money. And um, if you're a religious man, you already know that's that's not a good path to go on. <laughs> Okay, but you don't need to be a religious man to see what the problem there is. <laughs> uh. Because apparently, I guess with some of those OnlyFans creators, not only do you get their their picks, but sometimes if you message them, you might um, get a little bit of escort service. Hmm. Man, now that's interactivity that you're not going to get on Pornhub. That's a whole other thing. Uh, Jorge Franco, you can play games on camera if you're lucky. Yeah, or you can make money if you're, if you're lucky with it. I suppose so. I mean, some people are. Well, on YouTube, I have to wait until I get um, a, a thousand subs on this channel before I can even monetize officially. I mean, there's there's the Streamlabs link if anyone's interested. But, um, you know, it's if that happens, it happens. Like, I have a day job. <laughs> That's just fine, and I'm I'm good. <laughs> you know, I kind of do these streams kind of for fun. Hmm. Rob Bob, it's easier to get the numbers for a woman uh, than a man, and that is also true. I mean, you can see that. I sure you can just go on Twitch and see that for yourself. Their situation with the hot tubs, the hot tubs, hot tubs are so bad that they, they had to make it its own category. <laughs> but people still flock to that. I mean, I, and I totally get it. I, I already saved, right? Because this guy is probably going to kill me. Dimension shift. Dimension he might shift. kill me once. I right, changed my shards. Let's put your luck to the test. Oh. Okay. I'll just keep on spamming him with this thing over and over and over again. Am I in him? Oh, what's that? Hold on one moment. One moment. Okay. Let's kill this guy. Ah! He got me. Uh oh, is he going to kill me? Does like this jackpot thing and he heals. Plunder. Uh, plunder. Oh, he's healing too, so I guess I'll just do this. It's a fried fish. Is he taking my money?
I didn't realize that, but I think he was stealing my money. Wow. And take some time to eat some fried fish. Some cookies. Hold on. Hold on one moment. Okay, all right, back. Okay, so let's see. Going back to OnlyFans thing, I, one thing I want to ask before I change subjects on that is, what would you do if your um, if your wife or daughter, or if a girlfriend, wife or daughter, were on OnlyFans, what would you do? How would you feel about that? <laughs> you know, a lot of people say, oh, it, it's empowering. Porn's empowering and empowers women. Um, let me just say, I used to think that. Uh, probably no surprise. Used to be heavy Coomer over here. Still struggling, still recovering. Um, yeah, I used to believe that it's it was empowering, but the more I've seen, the more I've learned about like the dark side to the production of pornography, even like the amateur stuff. It's like I don't know. It doesn't seem all that empowering. It seems just as soulless and shitty as any corporate job that just sucks your soul out of you but it also uh violates your holes <laughs> oh man so i don't know but but then again at the same time there's some people who enjoy i guess apparently enjoy the work and there's people who just don't hmm. he's almost dead he's almost dead come on die Okay, now he's dead. Take that. Take that. Please tell me you have something good for me. No! Tornado Slicer. Man, like, no one has any good stuff. Oh, what's this over here? I need to... I want to get that. I would like to get that thing over there. But I can't reach it. Dimension shift. Man, are you serious? Dimension shift. Dimension shift. I mentioned I can't use it. Are you serious? Oh. Oh wow, look at that. That's just foreground. That's all that is. Dimension okay. Shift. Shift. Nice little trick. Nice little trick there. Take that. And that question was pretty loaded. 
Because depending on the situation, would totally change. I asked earlier, what do you do if your if your wife was on OnlyFans? Well, okay. Well, if it was my wife and I didn't know, and she was keeping a secret, it would be a problem. I'd be like, what? What? You know? Would not sign off on that. No, am I gonna die right here? Dude, I didn't save. No! You son of a gun. I died by the werewolf. I was killed by the werewolf. Are you serious? It's cool, cool hanging out in the chat, uh, Reboot Bob. Yeah. Gotta, maybe eventually as this channel grows, gotta decide who to make mods and stuff over here. I have to do that again. Son of a gun. The werewolf killed me. The freaking werewolf got me. So I could be down here hitting him in the balls, but apparently that doesn't work. Ugh. Dimension shift! Dimension shift! Okay. So like I said before, you know, I've been talking about uh, Gotcha Rick Spin, Love Bites, OnlyFans stuff. So if there's something you guys want to ask in the chat, feel free to, on, you know, if, if you have a, a thought about any of those things. Uh, I also want to talk about the Gunt, <laughs> Ethan Ralph. I don't know if you know who he is. Let's put your luck to the test. Like a 300, 400 pound uh, hog of a man. A beast <laughs> not in a good way you know I like this spell a lot I don't know if it's like the most effective I just like it because it kind of reminds me of like of the boomerang that he got in Castlevania you could spam oh I'm gonna I died you son of a gun man My wager. well at least this time I died to the boss I suppose I don't know why I died that fast Anyway, yeah, so Ethan Ralph is this, um, he's about 400 pounds, obese, alcoholic, pill-popping alcoholic, depends on Maker's Mark. He's the host of uh, a show called The Kill Stream. If you don't know him, are familiar with his history in uh, drama, I could just, let me to you like this he's a sort of guy like if you make fun of like if you talk about him like what I'm doing here Dimension he has a problem shift. with it he'd be like oh what's this motherfucker got to say it really gets under his skin you could be somebody as nobody as myself and talk about him and you have a huge problem about it and he's a guy that's no problems talking bad about other people. So it's like, you know, you know, and that's kind of sometimes they do that on that show. Let's put your luck to the test. What I'm getting at here is that Ethan Ralph of the kill stream has been known to be a, uh, a false flagger. Uh, some guy who will flag your videos and channel down for uh, making fun of him. It's been it's been exposed. It's been talked about. Everyone everyone knows about it. Everyone that knows him knows about it. But and he's he's kind of outright and said it too. Like he will flag your stuff. If you're talking bad about him with this stuff. If you're if you're watching his his content and talking about him and he's gonna have a problem about it. A problem with it. You're loaded today, But apparently this is not just on uh YouTube. Apparently this is also happening 
on a streaming service or a, some sort of video service called Odyssey. Don't know what Odyssey is? Odyssey is kind of like, I guess, a YouTube alternative? I mean, I have an Odyssey account, but I don't do much with it. Come on, guy. Not only will he flag the videos down on that uh, on that on that platform on Odyssey, but it's like there's a there's a moderator or someone behind the scenes in Odyssey that seems to be um, a part of it. We'll be doing something that um, people who are familiar with Ethan Ralph would call gun guarding. Imagine if somebody made reaction videos off of um who who's a who's a chosen favorite of YouTube? Who's some guy who could do no wrong? Not PewDiePie, not him anymore. Um Philip DeFranco. Philip Oh man, I got hit by all that stuff. Philip DeFranco. Imagine somebody had a stream where they're making fun of Philip DeFranco. And uh, YouTube removed it, which I could see totally happening under under their current guidelines. They probably call it like bullying or targeted behavior. <laughs> but that's YouTube. Odyssey is supposed to be an alternative where you go. You're not really expecting that sort of um, that stuff to happen. Man. Die, guy. Dude. <laughs> I'm just dependent on potions here because this guy isn't dead yet. There we go. Finally. And I'll go back to save. Ethan Ralph has an OnlyFans? Sweet. And I bet you he has a pig pig. I bet you he does. Hmm. You know, I could talk bad about him. <laughs> but there's one thing I've learned about Ethan Ralph is that for some reason as much of an asshole as he is shit sniffing asshole that he is sometimes Lady Luck is on his side it's weird it's weird right like did he make a deal with the devil did he Who'd want to see that? Hopefully nobody. But if you smoke enough meth, it might be interesting. I mean, who who is like a pay pig of Ethan Ralph? There's people who do that. They just give him money all the time. I mean, shit, man. I would I would, I would love them. no lie. If I had a pay a well, psh, shit. I'd be like, okay. Alrighty. Oh my god, I'm gonna die out here again. That dragon's gonna kick my ass. Oh, oh! It took me out of the room, so now I have to do it again. Oh, you son of a... You... That was kind of cool, though. <laughs> Dimension shift. Dimension shift. This is Dimension so shift. annoying. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. And I have to Dimension do this shift. because Dimension I can't shift. get around Dimension any other shift. way. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. 
Dimension shift. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. Oh my god. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. Ah. Oh my dude. Alright, I think I'm stuck down here. Dimension shift. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, I would like to have a pig piggy if I could. But, um, you know, it's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Shit. Maybe it's not meant to be either. That's fine. Shit. I used to stream like around no. noon all the time. <laughs> when the yeah. when I guess when everything was locked down. <laughs> I was working from home more. That's all gone now. Work has picked up Go. too much yeah. for any sort of plan around. Go. My call. Uh. This wolf is yeah. gonna kill me. Go. Dude, these guys are kicking my ass. They're strong. Dimension shift. Dimension shift. <laughs> Oh, what's down here? Oh, this is this is where you go to beat the game. All right. I am not there yet. I need to do a lot more if I want to beat this game. Uh, I'm going to get my ass kicked left and right. I didn't Get more food and stuff. That's what I need to do. You're on Odyssey too? Real amazing. Adam? Yeah, I'm on Odyssey. At least the other channel is uh, Mr. Deadman DT, that one. Not, not this channel. Alright, let's... Um So I could actually go for the end of the game. <gasps> there would be like three bosses I would have to fight. <laughs> and then I'm just going to end up playing this game again <laughs> because that's what I do. What are we transmuting this uh. time? Stop back often. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else is on y'all's mind? Let's see. Been streaming for about an hour and a half now. Already talked about Gotcha Rick Spin. Uh, real liking their stuff. Yet. I mean, the reaction stuff. At first, I was like, man. I like J Metal. I, I like Japanese metal stuff. I can react to some baby metal, react to this, let's see what happens. And then I started paying attention to the comments. It's like, oh man, I need, I need to, I need to actually go through the list of su suggestions and, and, uh, and, and, you know, do that. But, uh, yeah, people seem to be liking it, so it's good. I did the two uh, BTS reactions. Honestly, that was... I was... Well, you know... I get the appeal. <laughs> and that's a nice way of saying it, isn't it? I mean, it's still a boy band. But, alright.
Are you try the car mod on New Vegas? Should be pretty cool. I am right now. I'm like harvesting this one enemy for for souls I could sell, <laughs> for shards I could sell, pretty much. Oh, that'd be cool. A full Mad Max experience. Yeah, a lot of people have been playing New Vegas a lot. Can you plant that? Sure, I'll get to work. Man, there's um, there's a lot of jiggle. There's a lot of jiggle. You see it? There's supposed to be an item that it zooms in on you when you wear it. It's like these glasses. Are you eating properly? What are we trying? I wonder if I can craft time? it. Not a ring. Pace yourself out there. I don't know if you can craft it or do you have to find it. Have a look around. Oh, what would you like to buy? Right, let me get these glasses just in case. Is this I might need them Is this for Thank making you. it. <laughs> Up. So, what'll it be? All right, let's see if we can do it. Yeah, okay, it doesn't come up, it doesn't even show up. Mm. That sucks. It's a, I think it's called Jeebles, Jeebles glasses, and it like zooms in on you, so that way we could see the the jiggles much more enhanced. I'm just that way you could see it. Stop back often. It's I would hate for you guys to say I'm what a liar. This time? Let's make some of this stuff. I'll go with this. Great. I'll go with this. Now I think I'll uh, wrap up the stream pretty soon and. I'll go with this. This is pretty fun, though. Just hanging out, chill, chilling with you guys. I'll go with this. Great. I'll go with this. Just making all this crap. Great. I'll go with this. Great. I'll go with this. Great. Enhance the shot. Okay, let's see the ones I use a lot. Yeah, I don't need to worry about that. Stop back often. All right. Let's see. It's a great game. I still use Do Vegas redesigns with Dragon Body Faction overhaul mods. Yeah, um, Mom's Ravioli. He plays a lot of uh, New Vegas. I'm just like, what? Fuck. I should have said anything. I'm still playing this game. This game's pretty old, and it really has no real mods other than sometimes uh, it, has, it has nude mods. I can't stream that. I have them. I actually had them enabled while streaming. I don't know if you notice. You can go back to one of the live streams, but you might be able to see some uh, eye candy with uh, some of the uh, female enemies in this game. They didn't jiggle, so there's not really much to notice. But they were there. 
that stream was taken down for uh, sexual content. I appealed it and it got reinstated. So, good stuff. You know, since I moved over to this channel, I have not had a lot of, uh, or much of any sort of like drama stuff come my way from any sort of thing. I think they see uh, that I'm just doing the reaction videos over here, just chilling and doing what I would normally do. I mean, I don't think they care, which is fine, which is great. I did clean out the Discord server, though. Just about everyone's gone. I think my mistake was getting involved in any way with Phantom Organization. Uh, maybe those uh, those plank gang guys? I don't even know who they are. I just want to chill, do my thing. There may be a handful of people watch. That's fine. Yeah. The channel grows. And you know, everyone, everyone's happy. I think, uh, I can take this off the screen. I'm going to have some of this whiskey when this eye heals. <laughs> and then, uh, still looks bad. Phantom organization still around. Yeah, they're... It's called Monkey Business. Yeah, he's still around. He is. Still doing the same damn thing. Talking about furries and Ethan Ralph. <laughs> Talking about furries in a degenerate way. And then Ethan Ralph, as if he has a leg to stand on about anything Ethan Ralph does. <laughs> okay. I mean, Ethan Ralph is a horrible human being. He eats trash burgers. <laughs> he groomed a 17-year-old to knock her up. Isn't taking responsibility as a dad. Honestly, from my perspective, that's the biggest issue I have. It's kind of come on, man. You can't you can't even be a dad. But despite all his issues, you know what Ethan Ralph is not? He's not a furry. He's not a goddamn furry. Never go furry. Never. Hmm. I think I might wrap up the stream. Or go some more. Maybe play another game. Shit. Play Duke 3D. Play some Ion Fury or something. Man. Shit, yeah, let me exit out of this game. 
Let me get a new game going on. Let me do, I guess I'll do Ion Fury. All right, loading it up now. Supposed to be an expansion pack coming soon, or expansion. There we go. those watching right now, what's on your mind? What's something that you want to either rant about or chill about? Come on. What is something on your mind? It could be anything. You want to talk about cannibalism in Hollywood? You want to talk about the, the pedophilic elite? You want to talk about how Alex Jones is right. He's been right many many times about the globalists about how it's really important for you to size up your neighbor and let your neighbor know you're gonna eat his ass that's right just size him up Why are you coming over here with a measure? What, 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 are, you, are you trying to get me suited up for a suit or something? It's like, no, no. I just want to make sure my... I want to make sure I have what I need. My tub is big enough for your fat ass. <laughs> Gotta size him up. <laughs> All right. You know what? Actually. Y'all seeing eye. You're lucky I can't fit a grenade launcher in my bag. There's something over here, I think. You just drink a soda right there. Nothing there. All right, I thought there was a secret there. Yeah, Alex Jones has been right. What else could we talk about? Shit. Do y'all want to talk about politics? Like <laughs> I'd rather not. Talk about how shitty things are. Oh, do you want to talk about, uh, okay, okay, boomer, girl. <laughs> not really being the commie that she claimed to be. It always works that way. Pay attention 
to all those bread tubers. Pay attention to all those celebrities and politicians that talk about uh, socialism and Marxism. I guarantee you, they don't live that lifestyle. I guarantee you they don't. They say tax the rich, eat the rich. Uh-huh. They're the rich. The same people who say that are the yum, ones yum, yum. that are wealthy. They just want the other wealthy guys to be taken out. Because they think that money is going to yum, them yum, too. Yum. They want you guys to be their simps, their plebs. I'm trying to drink that soda is what I'm trying to do. I think you can drink these whiskeys. I don't know what this is. Oh, you can drink that. Cool. You could drink all this right here. Drink it all. I don't know if you get drunk in this game. Have to find out. Uh, dude, she just drank, um, twelve bottles of Jack Daniels. <laughs> she's still walking around. Holy hell! And she's not a big girl. Look at her. Yeah, uh, one bottle would have been enough to put her down. Uh, okay. Yeah. Open the door. Mm -mm -mm. All right, I guess we can get out of here. We spent enough enough time in this place. I like what they did with this game. I like this level. It's so cool. It looks very um, Blade Runner. Think again, asshole. One good spill deserves another. Your blood for my brain. T and to think this is just on like the same, there. the same engine that made Duke 3D. <laughs> that made it look good. I can't. He's right in front of me. I couldn't hit him. I've got a present for you. I'm trying to get in the vent. Ah. No, uh, I hate that she has to reload. I mean, it makes sense. It is a revolver, but at the same time, it's like, oh, come on. That looks like a secret. Take that. Talk shit, get shot. So much. Oh, there we go. Ah, he's right in front of me. Oh. Take these cold fries. Just got control a couple days ago. Just got control a couple days ago. Oh, is that a is that a game? Or do you mean you got control of your life a couple days ago? Like like you are the master of your do domain. Are you going on a 
No fap. I know it's not November, but like it's healthier for you. Don't listen to the lies. They'll say, oh, there's nothing wrong with, with jacking off. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm-hmm. That shame you feel, that's just been programmed into you. Because of, like, religion and, and morals. But don't worry about that. What kind of game is it? It's kind of like this. I only play boomer games. <laughs> I like my games like I like my women. Old and experienced. <laughs> I want them so old. They have, they have a hip replacement. They're not a grandma. They're a great grandma. <laughs> not a milf, not a gilf, but a G gilf. <laughs> All right. That'd be silly. That's just silly. Yeah, take that. I miss. Key card, thank you very much. Oh, headshot, that's cool. I don't like how low my armor is. Oh. Machine. The Putin machine. I'm, a, I'm Putin's machine? That's not right. It's like Max Payne 3. With psychic powers. I got control of Pay Padron 1964. Remember Martin right now. Another beating can't solve. I think I might have heard of Control right now. I think I might have heard of that game. You said so it was like Max Payne 3, but it was psychic powers. Oh shit. There we go. There's like these flying guys out there. <laughs> He's like walking into a wall. He didn't care. And that guy's the voice of Duke Nukem as well. Sit down, little girl. This game is pretty cool, you know? But uh, I guess it only appeals to certain people. People who like boomer, boomer shooters.
the dull moment in this game, in my opinion, is the I think part of like I think the third episode when you're going through like the underground um, corridors and stuff. That's that's annoying. Okay, okay there, you, there, you, there you are. Who else is shooting at me? What the fuck? Okay. Oh, oh, over there. There we go. I was like, who the hell is shooting at me? Is he dead? No, he's not dead. Dodge this. Ah! Okay, can I hit you at least? Dude, I'm dying. And I was doing so well. Worthless consumer model. Man. That was embarrassing. Well, that was taken care of. That's good. Let's see. Do, do, do. What else? Use the blue card and get that get out of here. Couple times. Here are these guys out. The flying guy's a little annoying, but whatever. There's that. We're done when I say we're done. Ah, uh, these guys are annoying. Hit him. Jesus Christ. And as far as getting any secrets, it's man, I'm make a splash. bad at that. Apparently there's 10 secrets left behind. bowling oh come on oh come He 
still alive? Man. I was surprised by that. Come on, man. You son of a bitch. There we go. Oh, I don't think that's covered under warranty. Missing left and right. And shooting shooting loads. Yeah, and I'll take some some sodas <laughs> for health. Got to get the high fructose corn syrup. Is that jizz right there? Look at that. What, 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 what is that? That's nasty, man. Come on, guy. Take my bullets. Take them. There you go. All right. How do you get over there? How 
do you get over there? There's something over there. Well, that, that's not it. Pigs are cops? Well, I guess so. And Duke Nukem they are. I'm playing as a cop in this game. I am a female officer, which is, you know, why I'm missing so much. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, I should be able to, I guess, jump. Oh, wait. There. Ah, there we go. Stop. Stop touching me. Those things are like one of the more annoying enemies in the game. Where is... Are you serious? I jumped, I jumped. Ah. Look at those boots, man. It's about to get pucket or rowdy in here. See, are there other secrets here? I'm out. Oh, I'm out of my boot power. Oh, son of a bitch. It doesn't last very long. And all that for like a puck? I guess we'll make it last or make it make it work here. Go one puck. Uh, did I kill anybody? I don't think it killed a single person, but it looked cool. leave now I got the key card oh man Oh yeah, I'll take that armor. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is a long, lovely thing about it. All the stuff I just did.
Oh man. Come on, guy. Come on. Yeah, uh, these guys are just annoying. His head was in the in the ceiling. All right, we gotta do this part. Dude. Gotta keep them 
separate. <laughs> almost killed me. Yeah, that would have killed me. Take that health. So close to dead. So dead. What? Is that how I die? Oh, well, it is what it is. I'm dead. It's over. This is fun. <laughs> 